It is 842 Purdue's new president, very busy settling into his new role. Meng Chang taking over for Mitch Daniels January 1st, making him the 13th president of the university since it was founded back in 1869. He is not new to Purdue, though. He has previously served as Purdue's dean of the College of Engineering, and he's joining us live now to discuss Purdue and the first few months as president, as well as some really exciting news for the school. President, good morning. It's so good to have you. How are you on this Monday morning? Good morning, Angela. Good to see you again. Yeah, it's so good to see you. I want to talk about a lot of things, but let's start with Purdue's engineering graduate program. Just ranked number fourth in the nation behind MIT, Stanford, and UC Berkeley. I'm guessing it's no sh shock to you as someone who used to be the president of the engineering department, too. Well, thank you for highlighting that. Uh, indeed, that is the final four uh, this year for the graduate engineering ranking in the country. Uh, and it's a reflection, I think, of the excellence at scale of our faculty, students, and staff. And indeed, not just in engineering, but across many departments uh, throughout the university. Yeah. And this excellence at scale, by the way, also means that right now we are the number one undergrad STEM, that is science, technology, mm -hmm. engineering, mathematics, undergrad enrollment among all the leading research universities in our country, number one there. And by the way, we have frozen tuition one more year. The Board of Trustees endorsed that, uh, just as Mitch Daniels started 11 years ago. So I would say that the Boilermakers, we are creating knowledge, disseminating, deploying knowledge at a scale with a quality and affordability second to none in the country. I'll tell you, as a parent who has a kid in college right now and another one about to go, um, we love it when we can hear colleges, you know, freezing tuition. Let's also talk about Purdue jumping mm. to fifth in the world when it comes to patents. I think some people might be surprised because we're talking about hundreds of inventions by researchers there. Why is this patent ranking, do you think, so important? Well, here at Purdue, as a public land-grant institution, we believe that we got to translate knowledge into societal benefits for people like your viewers, for your children, our children, and patents is one way to make sure that the impact of fundamental research breakthrough is going to be translated. And yes, we're proud that this year, for the first time, Purdue is among the top five in the world among the universities receiving United States patents. And by the way, just so that you know, not to complain about a ranking when we are ranked so high, but they grouped the entire University of California system as one, and the entire University of Texas as one, and there are other countries' universities as well. So if you look at single American campuses, it is MIT, then Purdue, number two, then is Stanford, Harvard, both have medical schools, and Caltech. Wow, I Again, got chills. this demonstrates excellence at scale. And we have just launched a Purdue Innovates to further enable Purdue inventors and entrepreneurs. Yeah, I don't think that's complaining. I like it when people state the facts. Just to clarify. Right? Just to no, clarify. it's important. We're actually right? number like, two yes, in we, the world. Let's bring out the facts and stand up for our state and, our, and your university for what you're doing. Um, I, I know I'm in a, I only have 30 seconds left. I could take, talk to you forever. Is there anything else here in the last 30 seconds? You know, what has it been like um, being president now for these? Well, yeah. I run with the students on Day of Giving. It's a record year. We thank uh, the state legislature for a fantastic, generous support. And by the way, we're coming to Indianapolis. Uh, mm -hmm. It's going to be Purdue University in Indianapolis. We're launching the Daniel School of Business, and Purdue computes with physical AI and leading the country mm -hmm. in semiconductors. Oh, semiconductors. A lot of good things here, ball are up. Well, let's have you back talking about semiconductor shortages and how Purdue might be able to help, and then all of that AI. There's so many people nervous about, you know, oversight there, so maybe you can come back and talk about those two things. Keep that in well, mind. Well, anytime. All right. Purdue is leading AI and leading semiconductors for our country. Well, I'm glad, that you, I'm glad you're there. I'm glad you're doing it. Good to see you. Good to see you, Boiler uh, Up. All right, Boiler Up.